Hi everyone, I'm Erica Gould. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist and a functional medicine practitioner. So today I'm going to talk to you about urinary incontinence and specifically urinary incontinence in men after prostate cancer surgery. Now the most common question I get is, how long does it take to get dry after the prostate is removed? So the common answer that the urologist will say, it will take six months to a year to regain full urinary continence. Now, six months to a year is pretty long. That's a long time to be leaking. So I tell my patients that with proper guidance, I can help them get dry in three to four months. Now, how do we do this? It isn't just about Kegels. My program is not gonna just teach you how to do Kegels. Now, Kegels are good if you do them correctly and if you do them with the anterior pelvic floor muscles versus the posterior pelvic floor muscles. And you have to do the Kegels with functional movement. Now, Kegels alone will not get you dry. You can do Kegels all day and still have leakage. The process of urination is controlled by the brain. The impulses travel from the spine to the bladder and pelvic floor. These impulses and reactions happen automatically. This automatic reaction is called a reflex. So like I said, you can do Kegels all day and still have leakage. So we need to regain that brain and bladder reflex. I will teach you how to regain these reflexes. There's two. The first one is called the bladder filling reflex. And the second one is called the micturation reflex. So if you want to get dry, just call me for a free phone consultation. I'm Erica Gould, a physical therapist and a functional medicine practitioner at Harmony Lymph and Pelvic Physical Therapy, 772-342-4490.